Parts of the Twin Cities saw their biggest storm in five years yesterday. Snow totals at the airport reached more than a foot. About 15 miles north in Plymouth, about seven inches was recorded. 25 miles north in Elk River, two inches of snow fell on the ground. Many people started the process of shoveling driveways or digging out their cars yesterday. But the work was far from finished for some today. The good thing is that Minnesotans are always willing to lend a helping hand or push when needed. WCCO's Jeff Wagner shows us how big snows have the ability to bring out the good in people. Snow, as we've come to know up north, is inevitable. It's Minnesota, right? And just as predictable as a flurry of flakes is the selflessness that follows them. The big thing was the drifting, you know. Like Doug Stepanek, who was clearing the driveway of his neighbor who's on vacation. Paul's a good friend of mine, so yeah, I'd do anything for him. Yeah. Yeah, I saw a lady down here. She was shoveling. I was thinking about heading maybe down there if she's not done by the time I finish up here. That desire to help strangers swarm Lindale Avenue near the Walker Arts Center Monday as packs of people pushed cars up a slippery hill. I got a really great workout. Julia Curran, standing just under five feet tall. And I mean, I am strong. <laughs> spent a couple hours lending a hand, documenting the experience on Twitter. There were people coming um, in, like, with groups of friends or who had passed by on the bus and saw that help was needed and walked back. Drivers got a lift. Curran got fulfillment. And it builds a sense of community and. It gives you nice memories when you're walking by what is otherwise a kind of miserable street. Her story doesn't surprise fellow Minnesotans. If someone needs help, we'll pitch in. It was bound to happen, just like the storm that started it. It's kind of the same old routine every time it snows every winter. Different story tonight outside the Walker Art Center as we look towards Hennepin Avenue and Lindale. The streets are crystal clear as traffic has been going by quite smoothly, but I'm going to guess there are hundreds of drivers who will not forget the struggles of last night and hopefully not forget all those people who came to the rescue.